Country, well clear of uh, the chase behind, but Horrocks are absolutely storming, right, and already making a way back and round once again. Ben Schuller, the leader in the boys of race, now making his way back down towards that pit area once again. The under 16 of boys place. And still are going to be you and Cameron and looking up, but Cameron just takes a slide on that same corner that caught out race at the leader Schuller, and it's just nothing. Cameron is just getting past the beach, going to be. Tom Carrick on there to the Mahoney Trade, who's ready to down to the Jerry Cycling Academy. Harry Hardcastle just goes over. And then something happens to the race at the leader, and that is a tuna behind him. And then coming through a four, Kirk Lees is uh, going to be. Harry Hardcastle just making his way up the slope, so Hardcastle is just coming through behind Mark Donovan, running smoothly with the bike on his shoulder, but he's got a lot of ground now to make up if he wants to be battling it out for one of those podium spots. So when the race leaders get to the line this time, it will be one lap to go for our race leader. The speculation is whether that is going to be the Wadsworth and Thackeray duo or whether it's going to be Dan Schuller hitting the line, but who's going to get the first? He's likely to get the bell lap this time through. Second bike on the first lap. So it's a lack of use the third bike. So it's hard. Wicked course. Not it. Sounds like Emily's right behind. Really? Hmm. It's brilliant to have quite a big crowd here, despite not being a World Cup. It's still a wicked cheer. I don't have to climb every lap. Loved it. Right. Cheers. Pardon? Last lap being really quick. Yeah, just get it all out. I was contemplating whether to ride the steps. Uh, I left it so late to half off, I was like, no. <laughs> no. I told you, brother, you were crap. Like, under what I would get yeah. through and you were in a way then. Yeah, I mean, my um, second bike of actually just died. Is that right? Yeah, I, no, I charged them on, on Friday, but yeah. I might try and switch to the external battery. Yeah, yeah. I don't think these ones are that good, the internal. No. But I just think changing bikes onto that third one. Got the red mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what made me slip, and then you, you said just keep just can't keep it calm. Just yeah. didn't risk it on the corners. Hit the straight hard. Uh, yeah, just that with that little slip. Yeah, just you know, when you lost a foot in there, mm -hmm. the only thing that looked like was just about like going right with them again. Just to make yeah. And as soon as you found, found your feet again, just yeah, I away. I really tried to dig in on that run. I, I looked at the. Um, the right hand side before and I thought it's not been used at all. The only thing I was going to say, just something to think about, being be able to position your front wheel, you could almost run it over the top of the, yeah. run it almost against the face of the people that are on the barriers, yeah. that's what I mean, because you could have got your feet further, further onto the even better yeah. grass if your front wheel had come over front the top of the other side. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I need to practice doing it on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice it in the shed. Yeah. And what can we say about the rider who is going to take top spot? He rides the specialised cycles, he's got more red, white and blue jerseys than he knows what to do with. If he put them all up on his wall it'd be like the Great Wall of China. He is a multinational champion. He's your national cyclocross champion. He's the winner here today. In Milton Keys for round four of the National Trophy. Give a big round of applause to Dan Chulet.
Right, we're going to present the jersey because I can confirm at the end of lots of bad maths, we came to some good maths and we decided, by virtue of having the most points, it's going to Harry Yates! So Harry's going to take the jersey on from here. Next round is going to be in the Yorkshire Heartland of Appeal Park. Also known as the Greater Baltic Republic. Bring your wellies and bring your fur line boots. It's kind of cold up there. Come on, Ben, up the top spot. So give a big round of applause. Your top three today. Third place, Ben Turner. Second place, the series leader. Harry Yates and your winner, Dan Chulet.